Hi everybody and happy Video Monday. Tisha Mahar here. For this week's video, I'm going to say something that I have said in the past, but I feel it's worth repeating. The eating style and the diet that is right for you is not the diet that is necessarily the coolest, trendiest, latest thing. Please, you guys, this week's video comes with you, comes to you with a bit of a plea from my heart because my heart is breaking over this. And I I have absolutely been caught up in it myself in the past. And I'm here to say to you guys, please, the best way to figure out what is right for you is to really look at yourself. Stop reading all these books, stop Googling things on the internet. Tune into your body and what your body is saying to you. If you feel totally at a loss with this, work with somebody like myself or another nutritionist who can help you dissect things, but the focus needs to be on you, okay? It is so easy to be to get caught up and swept up in, in the latest fad in terms of eating um, because that thing promises essentially to work better for you than perhaps what you're doing, but you have to throw this out the window. Everybody is different. Everybody's hormones are different, especially women. Hormones are huge when it comes to losing weight, feeling energetic, sleeping well. All of these things are important. You have to get back to the basics, focus on sleeping enough, focus on exercising but not over-exercising, focus on eating a whole foods-based diet, but don't focus on counting calories and don't focus on low carb or low fat. Find some balance in your life so that you can be at peace with all of this, okay? So as I said, I have myself been caught up with this in the past and it's hard sometimes doing what I'm doing because it's hard to eat without having a billion thoughts in your head about why you shouldn't eat this and this and this and this. And honestly, there's been times where I felt like I'd been, I was going to go insane about this. And I really had to let go a lot because um, there's just so much dogma out there and nobody really knows, but everybody has 10 frigging books about all these different things you shouldn't do. So again, clear it out, tune into your body. For example, I have been finding since I uh, since I turned 30 that what I was doing in my 20s is not working as well. These days, I'm more active than ever, and it seems that I need, um, I'm also using my brain even more. I've been back in school full time, so I've been needing more carbohydrates than I used to, used to need, and again, I think that's for metabolic reasons. My body's like in that baby-ready stage, and also because I'm using more glucose, but what I was doing, I had to adjust, and if you're not open to that, you're going to find yourself feeling really, really, really miserable, and essentially, you're going to fall um, prey or you're going to be a victim to all these fads, so again, tune back into you. Work with someone if you need some help with regards to this. Listen to your body. Don't be afraid to try something different. Um, my favorite quote of all time, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. If what you are doing is not working for you, be brave and try something different. And on that note, be consistent about it. I have so many people that come to me and they have tried something for, you know, to, to create a change for like, they've done it for like three days and they're like, oh, it didn't work. You can't just do it for three days. You have to do, you know, at least two to three weeks of something consistently to really be able to assess if it's working for you. So be brave, make the change and be consistent. Give yourself a window. I'm going to give this an honest go for 28 days and see what happens and really be open to looking at it and assessing it honestly, not listening to what so-and-so would say. What is your body saying about that thing? I hope this um, resonated for some of you today. I know we've all been there, and um, again, I certainly have myself. Don't let yourself go crazy over this stuff. It's not that important. Get back to the basics. Love yourself. Feed your body enough. And feed your body real food. Beyond that, 
take a look at your patterns, and again, try something different if what you're doing isn't working. You deserve to be happy and you deserve to feel great. And if you don't, you're the only one who has the answer to why. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you soon.